tight. So today we're making garlic bread. So grab your bread ferociously, take out a piece, and slap it down on the table like you're showing it who's boss. Uh, zoom in the camera so y'all can see me create this beautiful bread. Uh, take one unpeeled clove of garlic, not unpeeled, that'd be horrible, and break it apart and just toss it on your bread like throat. So maybe put it into any air pockets in your bread and then give it a nice taste because this is going to be beautiful. This is my best recipe ever. <laughs> And that was me spitting out because I loved it so much. I'm joking. That was horrible. Anyway, today we are making homemade garlic knots. So first things first, start off with a fourth cup of 110 degree water. Add in some yeast to make it yeasty water. Because who doesn't? You need yeast in water. Normal water sucks. Um, and give that a little whisking and let it bloom for 10 minutes to help it wake up. Anyway, after, while that's waking up, we're gonna add two cups of flour into a bowl and then add xanthan gum, salt, and sugar, and then give that a little muddle together. This does nothing. I don't know why I did it. Then gingerly pour it. Not, that's not a ginger pour. That's an aggressive pour into our stand mixer, trying not to spill. Don't know why I was mis mixing it. That's not doing anything. Then add two cups of 110 degree milk and then two tablespoons of melted butter. And then now, actually, wait, don't now mix it. I have horrible memory smash one egg into this and try not to get any shells in there unlike me because I'm unsuccessful at half the things I do but you know what that's how life goes so yeah I don't know why okay there we go smash that egg in there or crush it whatever like Donkey Kong I'm not sure that's what Donkey Kong does oh well um, put that eggshell off to the side and then let that mix for like three minutes um, at medium high speed until it's dough like um i forgot to add parsley which adds literally nothing it's just something i can say to oh i have parsley in my garlic knots you know i gotta sound pretentious and obnoxious that's my goal in life um anyway put down some parchment paper and that keeps rolling up because parchment paper and all papers meant for cooking suck lube it up with some weighted oil in a squeeze bottle so i seem like a fancy chef flour your countertop and big take out a chunk of dough mine were a bit big so maybe don't take out a chunk as big as mine but you know what it's okay roll it on your surface like so with some tapered ends and then tie it knottily into a knot which uh, I hope you guys know how to do this because I'm not going to be able to describe it. But as you saw there, take both ends and then wrap it around and then pull through like you're tying a knot, which hopefully most of you know how to do. Anyway, put that to a side and then rinse and repeat with the rest of your dough. Anyway, once you're done with all that, put them on your baking sheet and with some oil so they don't stick and then oil some plastic wrap and spread it over. And plastic wrap is my worst enemy, so frick you plastic wrap and just yeah do your best with that because all kitchen wraps suck anyway cover that and let rise for like an hour in a warm draft free area and do a cool walkout shot so you feel like you're a cool youtuber even though you only have 83 subscribers that's okay um and then we're gonna make our garlic butter while those are rising so take around three tablespoons of butter melt it in the microwave and then grate some garlic into it like so because the smaller the garlic the bigger the flavor so you want to grate it and get it as small as possible and make sure to scrape off all the little small bits like stuck to the other side of the microplane okay once those are done rising and then baking for like 20 minutes in a 350 degree oven brush them down with your nice garlic but butter and then i also added some parsley in it too because you know pretentious and parsley basically they go hand in hand and yeah just brush those down until they're nice and covered and you have like no butter left and they're nice and glistening and then yeah put them on a plate nicely and enjoy like so and then here's the close-up. These are nice and fluffy and um, soft. They're crispy on the outside, soft on the inside. And oh shoot, I forgot salt. So yeah, make sure to add flaky salt. Uh, preferably right after you put butter on them so it sticks better. But you know what? This works. And yeah, cover that and eat it with the salt. And dang, these are amazing with salt. Holy, they needed that. Anyway, thanks for watching and enjoy the B-roll.